Welcome to the Bueno Spa family, and congratulations on purchasing the spa of your dreams. We want to help you get ready to install your new spa. Before installation, please consider the following. When filled, your new spa could hold up to 500 gallons of water, so where you want to install the spa should be strong enough to support up to 3 tons of weight. If you're not sure if your installation spot is strong enough, we recommend you ask an engineer to take a look. Typically, a 4-inch thick reinforced base will suffice. Be sure to allow enough room to walk around the spa after it's installed, making sure the sides of the spa are accessible for regular maintenance. Avoid placing your spa near reflective surfaces as they could cause damage to your new spa. Make sure your spa will be in an area with enough water drainage. Even relaxed bathers will splash a little water outside the spa. Electrical installation. To make the final electrical connection, have your electrician remove the front panel of the spa using a T25 Torx bit. The side of the spa with the control box will be labeled for quick reference. Double check your breaker to make sure it is the right size, with enough amperage. Before the spa is connected, you'll need a dedicated GFCI just for the spa. We always recommend you hire a licensed electrician. Installation of Cover Lifter To install, place the straight piece of metal along the hinge of the cover. Take the two curved sections and insert them into the straight pipe. These pieces will have foam around the curve. Next, assemble the lifting arms onto the plastic consoles. Position the plastic console on both sides of the spa. We typically recommend placing this about 4 to 5 inches below the acrylic edge of the spa. Use the included drill bit to start the holes, then mount the console on the cabinet with screws. Once mounted, attach the black caps over the screws. Using the self-drilling screws, secure the pipes together, then attach the black caps over the screws. Place something between the cover and the cover lifter to protect the cover from the chips. Open the box and place the straight pipe on the hinge of the cover. Find the two bent pipes where the bent part is cushioned and push them into the straight pipe. Assemble the lifting arms as you can see in the video. Position the console at the bottom side of the cabinet.
Mount the console on the cabinet with the attached screws. The kit includes a drill bit for pre-drilling the holes for the screws. Stick the lower straight pipe into the consoles. Pull up the strap on the lower straight part of the cushion pipes. Use measuring tape for the symmetrical arrangement of the pipes. Use the self-drilling screws for securing the pipes together. Place something between the cover and the cover lifter to protect the cover from the sharp chips. You can hide the screws with black caps. Mount the strap on both sides of the spa. Filling the spa. Remove the optional hose adapter from the filter grate. Turn the filter grate counterclockwise to unlatch and lift the filter basket straight out of the filter bucket. Identify the fitting in the bottom of the filter bucket where you will fill the spa. Wipe off about 6 feet of the garden hose of any debris, then flush hose for a minute or two before putting it into the spa. Place the garden hose into the fitting at the bottom of the filter compartment. If your spa has multiple filters, rotate the hose between the fittings every couple minutes. Filling the spa through the filters will help prevent air from getting locked in the pumps and plumbing. Continue filling the spa until all the jets are submerged and the water level reaches an inch or two below the pillows. Then install the filter, basket and grate back into place. While the spa is filling, let's familiarize yourself with the jets. Jet Adjusting and Removal Jets You can adjust the pressure of each jet by rotating it. To increase pressure, turn clockwise. To decrease pressure, turn the jet counterclockwise. If you need to remove the jet inserts, continue turning them counterclockwise. The jet will click and can be unscrewed from the spa. To reinstall the jet, turn clockwise, pass the click and then set to the desired pressure. Control Panel Operation and Setting To operate and set the control panel, you can access the program menu by pressing the light button for 5 seconds. Once inside the program menu, use the up or down buttons to adjust the settings. Use the light buttons to move to the next setting. Use the arrow buttons to adjust the hour. To set the filter or purge cycle start time, the display will show FSXX, XX stands for the filtration starting hour. To set the filter cycle duration, the display will show FDXX. Here, XX represents the duration and hours of the filter cycle. To set the filter or purge cycle frequency, the display will show FFXX. Here, XX means the number of cycles per day. Finally, you can choose to display the water temperature in Fahrenheit or Celsius.
adjusting jets and use of diverter valves, venturi valves. To decrease the power of the massage jets, turn the air valve clockwise. To increase the power, turn the valve counterclockwise. To customize your massage, you can rotate the water diverter, moving the power between the various seats. If your spa has air locked in the pumps after filling, try turning the pump on and off repeatedly. If this method does not work, allow the spa to sit for a while and try again. Air locks will often resolve themselves within a couple of hours. Draining the spa To drain the spa, first make sure the power is completely turned off. Turn the drain cap while pulling out towards you. Once the drain is pulled out, remove the cap to drain. Make sure your drainage water is draining properly. To drain the spa faster, try using a submersible pump. Installing optional in touch. To install the optional Wi-Fi control module, start by ensuring the power to the spa is turned off. Inside the cabinet area, install the module as high as possible, preferably on the side closest to your home. Connect the InTouch 2 module into the CO port of the spa pack, or any other accessory with an available CO port. When possible, install the home module as close to your spa as possible. Connect the home module to your router. Filter Cleaning Machine To use the filter cleaning machine, you'll need a Quick Connect garden hose adapter. For tall filters, flip the filter to clean both ends. Clean each filter for 2 minutes. Spa Water Maintenance Step 1. Prepare the hot tub. Balance the water. Test the water using a reliable water testing kit and adjust the pH, alkalinity, and calcium hardness levels according to the attached description. Balancing the water chemistry is essential for the optimal performance of the frog system. Use Frog Jumpstart Startup Shock. Follow the instructions provided with Frog Jumpstart Startup Shock to add the appropriate amount to the hot tub. This helps establish the initial chlorine level. Heat the water. Set the hot tub heater to the desired temperature and allow the water to reach it before proceeding. Step 2. Put the system to work. Take the Frog Smart Chlor cartridge and the mineral cartridge and align the arrows on both cartridges. Lock the cartridges together, ensuring they are securely locked in place. This creates a cartridge system that will float in the water. Locate the dial on the bottom of the Frog Smart Chlor cartridge and twist it to the setting number that corresponds to your hot tub's gallon capacity. Refer to the chart provided in the manual for the appropriate setting. Once you have aligned and locked the cartridges together, carefully toss the frog floating system into the water. It will float in the water at a slight tilt, allowing for optimal distribution of the sanitizing agents. Monitor the floating system. Keep an eye on the frog floating system while it's in the hot tub. As the chlorine is gradually released, the system will slowly flip over. This indicates that the cartridge is nearing the end of its life and needs to be replaced. 
When the frog floating system flips completely over, remove the cartridge from the floating system. You'll find all the details on how to replace the cartridge right there in the product instructions. Step 3. Routine Hot Tub Care Use frog test strips to regularly test the water in your hot tub. Follow step 1 for maintaining water chemistry. Based on the results of the water test, follow the directions provided in step 1 to maintain the pH, total alkalinity, and calcium hardness within the recommended range. This will help ensure optimal water quality. Shock the hot tub with a non-chlorine shock product when you replace the Frog Smart Core cartridge or at least once a month. This helps to oxidize and remove any organic contaminants. For shocking the water, the Frog Non-Chlorine Maintenance Shock product is recommended. Each container of the product contains 12 pre-measured portions of chemicals. Each portion is designed to be used for one shock treatment of the hot tub. Therefore, one container of the Frog Non-Chlorine Maintenance Shock product is sufficient for 12 shock treatments. If you follow these basic rules along with cleaning your filter every week, this will ensure that your spa water is safe and hygienic.